This video is for all you calculus students out there just getting ready to take a test maybe and you need to just review all your derivatives real quickly. So I'm going to just go through all the basic derivatives from the power rule all the way up to those inverse trig functions. So let's get to it. Okay, so the way this is going to work, I'm going to give you a function. I'll ask for the derivative. I'll wait three seconds to give you a chance to think about it, and then I'll give you the answer. Please note there won't be any chains, no chain rule in any of the questions. So what's the derivative of x to the fifth? All right, we throw that exponent out front. Base stays the same. Exponent goes down by one. Moving on. What's the derivative of 3x to the negative second power? Take that negative two, throw it out front, multiply with the three, we get negative six, x to the, then add negative one to that exponent. And I usually like to write this one as negative six over x to the third, which might be how you find it if you're doing a multiple choice test. What's the derivative of one over x? I like to use the power rule on this also, so I'm gonna write it as x to the negative first power so that I can throw that exponent out front and then base stays the same. Exponent goes down by one. So the answer is negative one over x squared. And that's not a bad one to memorize, negative one over x squared. What's the derivative of the square root of x? Again, let's write this as an exponent so that we can do the power rule. I'm gonna throw that exponent out front. Base stays the same, exponent goes down by one, which means we could write it as one over two times the square root of x, which if you rationalize that would be the square root of x over two x. Now let's look at the trig functions. What's the derivative of sine? Cosine, good. What's the derivative of cosine? Negative sine. What's the derivative of tangent? Secant squared. What's the derivative of secant? Secant tangent. So secant x tangent x. What's the derivative of cosecant x? Negative cosecant x cotangent x. What's the derivative of cotangent x? negative cosecant squared of x. And let's move on to exponentials. What's the derivative of e to the x? No chain there, so this is real simple. The derivative is still e to the x. Now, what if the base is not e? What's the derivative of five to the x? Well, you still write five to the x, but you have to remember to tack on that natural log of the base, natural log, so ln five. What's the derivative of natural log x? One over x, no natural log at all. What's the derivative when the base is different? Let's say log base three of x. one over x again, but don't forget to tack on that ln three. So the natural log of the base needs to be in the denominator. What's the derivative of log x? Well, what base is that? It's base 10. So it is very similar to the last problem. One over x, ln 10. Let's get to the inverse trig functions. What is the derivative of inverse sine? One over the square root of one minus x squared. 
what is the derivative of inverse cosine? Negative one over the square root of one minus x squared, very similar to the last one. What is the derivative of inverse tangent? One over one plus x squared. What is the derivative of inverse secant? One over the absolute value of x times the square root of x squared minus one. What is the derivative of inverse cosecant? negative one over the absolute value of x, the square root of x squared minus one. What's the derivative of inverse cotangent? Negative one over one plus x squared. Well, there you go. All the derivatives that are usually found in an AP calculus course or a college calculus course. Come back, watch this video as many times as you need to so that you feel comfortable with all these basic rules and watch for my other videos about the product and quotient rule. And then I'll also do some more advanced um, derivatives as well for you. All right, good luck in your testing.